I don't want to encourage any shitty behavior, but toxicity in our world is just people love it. They eat that shit up. And it's just the honest truth. It really is. The clip I just played to you was recorded on the 28th of February while Shroud was playing Valheim. And one of the users in his chat asked him, how do I become successful at streaming? And he says, toxicity sells. People eat that shit up. Now that toxicity is spilled over into the World of Warships community uh, a long while ago. There is some very, very toxic streamers out there. And I'm not going to mention names. Everybody knows the most toxic streamer. Uh, I made a video of when he got kicked out of the CC program. It's my most downvoted video because his crowd, his supporters came over and called me all sorts of names. Um, the funniest one was when somebody said, oh, your channel only has a hundred and something subscribers. He has over a hundred thousand. He's way more successful than you. This tiny little YouTube channel is a hobby. Uh, from 8 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon, I work for an investment bank um, where I report to people with very thick socks and very big cars working with hundreds, if not thousands of millions of dollars. So I don't give a fuck. My entertainment area in my house is bigger than his house. I probably pay more tax than he actually earns. But, but... The one thing that's not okay, the one thing that is not okay, is making fun of military veterans. Zoop, what happened this week to you is not right. And it hit me quite personal. So, my father was a military veteran for 30 years. He served in the South African Defense Force, the old South African Defense Force. And then as South Africa transitioned into democracy, into the South African National, Def in the South African National Defense Force, sorry, um, um, at which he eventually retired um, at, I think, the age of 55. So from about 25 until 55, he served in the military. I lived for most of my youth on military bases. Um, South African Infantry School in Oatswaran being a prominent example. My dad had severe PTSD. He spent tours up in Angola on the Angolan Bush War. And if anybody's unfamiliar with it, it was a conflict, uh, and a proxy conflict, that happened between Angola and South Africa on the Southwest African uh, border. Go read about that. And Zoop is right in his video. Whether you're a fucking cook, or a fucking mailman, or you are a green beret. Mortars, bullets, IEDs don't distinguish. When that thing explodes, it hits everybody. And making fun of military veterans is not okay. Some of my closest friends still have PTSD. It's not okay. Pre-democracy... South Africa also had a system of conscription where if you were a white male and you finished school, you had to do, it used to be two years and then one year national service. I spent a year in the military and yeah, I patrolled townships, stood roadblocks during our transition into democracy, which was some of South Africa's most violent times and it wasn't fun. I can tell you it wasn't fun. And anybody, anybody that makes fun of any military veteran is a fucking dick, in my, in my, in my opinion. It's not on. Now, many, many, many years later, my dad actually went to Russia a few times. And these were people in proxy that we were supposed to fight. And he spoke to veterans that spent time in Afghanistan, guys in their 50s and 60s. They suffer the same thing. They might have been on the other side they suffer the same problems, and even they deserve your respect. Making fun of veterans is not on. Zoop, what happened to you is shit. Walk away, you're a better man. You have two beautiful kids and a family to take care of, while that particular streamer will post pictures of how he's always fucking late because he's working out and varnishing a porch 
that is probably smaller than one of the rooms in your house or varnishing his entire backyard deck which i can guarantee you is smaller than the the room in your house for the au pair walk away world of warships is not worth it your family deserves all the attention and just remember every military veteran will always thank you for your service and uh, you were one of the better cc's of running to you a few times in games always greeted you you always greeted back and i might not have agreed with some of your opinions but you were always respectful and we appreciate that so take care and i hope the future has something better for you cheers